Hello viewers, this is ATM LVE speaking on behalf of NG Innovation. NG Innovation is a branch of NG Aerospace that focuses on introducing new and innovative types of ships and stations. Their first creation is the Deployable Repair Ship. It's intended for military application. And uh, it's meant for use in space where resupply and repair services are greatly needed, but where there is a high risk of attack, so something like deep within enemy space or near a battle or something. Somewhere that, you know, ships, friendly ships are getting damaged and are using lots of ammunition, but, uh, and so they can quickly hop over and get some repairs and resupply and head back. But, uh, so it can provide those services and still defend itself well if it needs to. So, the outside is symmetrical. It's four identical sections. Uh, it's rather square in shape. The outside is heavily armored. Lots of thrusters. It is capable of moving. It's on a station. It's a, it's a large ship. So if we um, head in, there are three entrances in each section. Two down here on each side and then one on the top. Gravity. Uh, close the doors. Now it's not complete yet. There are some features that are missing such as uh, automatic airlocks. So we see we just vented this room. The main point is to getting it functional, not necessarily the smaller details like airlocks. Those aren't as important as the concept. Whoever purchases the blueprints would generally develop the more mundane aspects. So here we have the control room um, terminals available for people coordinating uh, their section of the ship or others as well. Two med rooms each, medical rooms, medical bays, and uh, once again it is symmetrical and each of the four, it, it's symmetrical in four uh, sections but then um, each individual section is also symmetrical through the center. So put out here into the airlock and we just vented that again because this is not airtight but we see here are the two hangars and once it opens up it will um, allow for ships to come inside and then if uh, the ship comes under attack it can close up and then you know you have the ships will still be in here they can be getting repaired resupplied but they won't be uh, vulnerable, the hangars won't be vulnerable because the side is very well armored. On the outside, <laughs> on the outside of the ship are the cargo containers, which are the least valuable aspects of the ship. You have the cargo containers and the assemblers, and then in the middle we have the reactor, which I didn't look at. We'll go in there real quick. Middle is the reactor room. Two large reactors per section, along with a lot of other reactors. A lot of small reactors. Actually, I think it might be three. Three large reactors. Uh, no, there are only two. So there are two large reactors and lots of other smaller reactors. Um, so we'll head out here. Through and vent some more oxygen. <laughs> like, it is pretty... a pretty large ship, so it's... it's intensive. And we see this hangar looks just the same as the other one. So, yeah, and you can walk over through here, and then we're back, and then it's just the same. There's a lower hangar with the welders here and the collectors for any broken parts. There are no col um, connectors, another feature that wouldn't should be added but was not in the, this is only the essentially the prototype. 
And we have an upper hangar where you could store additional ships smaller than what can fit in the large hangar here, but... And then, of course, bathrooms, because, you know, pilots need to go frequently. You never know. So there is a ladder here, up to the top section. We'll just take the ladder that's obviously not a jetpack up to the top section. And into the upper control station there are several more terminals. This overlooks the interior, the more vulnerable interior. Which, um, you know, if you could set off a charge in the center I guess it would probably be damaging. All the armor on the outside wouldn't do much, but still it's, um, you know, the interior is less armored than the exterior, but the exterior would, you would assume, would be taking more damage. So let's hop in here and, um, make sure I have, show off its feature. So, here we see the exterior of the ship, and, um, I'll just activate the pistons to extend it. And see the thrusters turn on, that's because of the inertia dampeners being active. Um, each section is independent, so it the ship thinks it's moving, which it is, and it's trying to get it to stop. So that's, you know, a drawback. It's not very, as I said, it's not complete. But we see here that it's been extended, and um, if we go outside here, the third exit, well, one of the three, I should say, it's there in any particular order. And the pistons have all extended, and, um, now the ship is, it's deployed, and so other, you know, out to eight ships at a time could dock and be getting repaired by all the welders. I guess there's no gravity here. <laughs> but yeah, so, and there are projectors, so if you wanted to create a ship, produce one, you could do that. Have it displayed in here and the welders would work on it. As well as anyone, you know, any people. So, deploy, eight ships can fly in, and then, if any danger comes along, then the ship can retract into its defensive mode and then um, the interior is more protected. So this one already has it so press this, activate the pistons, it can retract And there we go, now it's, it's in def its defensive position. So yes, this is the first installation. Now I have received word that NG Innovation is currently in production of several new ships and stations. So I look forward to bringing those to you as well. And uh, thank you for watching.